Cool. So we've forwarded through the network, and now we need to start thinking about bar propagating through the network. So on these slides, um, we've done taking an input for one time step, the output from the previous time step. Uh, for the for the very first time step, we're using just like out minus one is zero, and then but after that we're just iterating, right? We take the input from for a time step, the output from the previous time step. Combine them together, out t minus 1 plus input t times w, that gives us the output of that time step. Uh, we go right through until time big T, which is the second minus 1. And then we need to go back again. Okay, so here's what happens when we go backwards, uh, is we are going to go backwards. So for the forwards direction, we work through in increasing time steps, so time is zero, then one, then two, and so on. For back propagation, we're going to have to work through in the opposite order, starting from t equals second minus one, and then t equals second minus two, and working backwards back through to t equals zero. And we're going to calculate this thing that I'm calling bad output each time. Uh, so let's go to the next slide. How do I do that? I guess I click here. Yeah, well, right. Okay. So uh, we're first we're going to calculate we're going to do the back prop in two stages, right? In the forward direction we just like have the output value, but in the backward direction we have two things. So the first thing is using the chain rule, we're going to iteratively get the grad output for each step. All right, not thinking about the weights yet. Then once we've got the grad output for each step, so grad output is the partial differential of the output of the entire network with respect to the output from one layer. That's grad output. Grad output is the partial derivative of the output from the entire network with respect to the output from one particular layer. Then what we want is the grad weight. The grad weight uh, is actually shared because the weights are shared. But mathematically, it's going to be easier to consider it on a per time step basis and then add all those together. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So we calculated the grad output by just stepping back through, and then we want the grad weight. What is grad weight? Grad weight is the partial differential of the output of the entire network with respect to the le to the weights for one time step. Okay, grad weight is the partial derivative of the output from the entire network with respect to the weights for one time step. Now the weights for one time step, I mean the weights are constant across all time steps, right? but the gradient of the output of the network with respect to the weights of one time step is not constant across time steps. Uh, it's going to be big for the, for the last time steps because they most influence the output, and it's going to be much smaller for the uh, first few. Uh, assuming, yeah, well, yeah, right. All right, so we're going to calculate the grad output for each layer. Then given the grad output from any particular layer, we and the input the, to that layer and uh, anything else that's specific to that layer, we have enough information to calculate the grad W for that layer. All right, so we're going to back prop in two stages. Firstly, we use chain rule to get the grad output for each layer. So that grad output is the partial derivative of the output of the network with respect to the output of one layer. And then we chain rule again uh, to get the grad W for that layer. So uh, given the partial derivative of the output of the network with respect to the output of a layer and a couple of other things, we can get the partial derivative of the output of the network with respect to the weights for one layer. Cool. Do I have any other slides? I don't think so. No, that's it. Yeah. So, and then just like, just to revise this. So, uh, grad weights is actually. Uh, shared. I mean, there's only there's only one shared weight across all the time steps, right? Um, so that means the grad weight is also shared across all the time steps, but we can calculate it on a per time step basis, uh, which we're going to do because it makes it so much easier. And then we just add all those together, and that gives us the grad weight that we're going to apply to the actual shared W. Cool.